present Red Wolves Live. Welcome to a Sunbelt Media Days edition of Red Wolves Live. I'm Chris Hudgeson. He's Logan Whaley. Arkansas State football in the spotlight today in New Orleans. That's right, Chris. The Red Wolves taking the stage today along with the West Division in the East. They'll have their day in the sun tomorrow. Butch Jones entering his third season in charge for the Arkansas State football program. The Red Wolves were three and nine last season. Now, five of those losses came after leading in the fourth quarter. Here's what the leader of the pack had to say. I asked him about does he believe in the concept of bulletin board material? The Red Wolves were picked to finish sixth in the West Division. Well, we're responsible for what we create. And so, you know, I don't really lend. That has no much credence to me. Um, but if it puts a chip on someone's shoulder and they can use it as motivation, well, then so be it. We really, we've had a great off season really starting back in January. So the winter months and then leading into spring football and then obviously into the summer. We have more connection, more distributed leadership than we've ever had. Uh, players are taking accountability. They understand the expectations. We have some good competitions going and everyone wants to talk about the quarterback position and rightfully so. And we're not going to rush through with that. We're going to kind of let that happen. There's no need to rush. Jones brought two defensive veterans to New Orleans today. The Red Wolves have made strides on that side of the ball. After ranking second to last in the country in total defense in Jones' first season as head coach, A-State gave up 100 less yards per game in 2022, jumping from 129th to 90th in FBS. Defensive back Justin Parks has been a mainstay on this defense since day one. He says it's about playing faster. Everybody, you know, has the desire to, to increase their football intelligence. You know, that's the biggest thing. Like playing fast, you just got to know what you're doing. You know, you can't be out there not knowing what you're doing. This, that's when you play slow or you playing fast but going in the wrong direction. So everybody wants to get better, even the young guys. You know, I feel like I have pretty good football intelligence, but increasing it more, you know, now like just know what the offense wants to do, how they want to attack us, what type of, you know, schemes they try to pull against us, you know, to attack our defense. So that's one thing I've been improving on this offseason. Staying in the defensive theme, Malik Straker also represented the Red Wolves at Sunbelt Media Days. The linebacker racked up 50 tackles in 2021 and 81 tackles last season. Straker could join the 100 stop club in 2023. It's quite the rise from Brampton, Ontario, Canada to Jonesboro, Arkansas. You know, I, I eventually got some opportunities with Coach Coach Jones and Coach Charlie, and it's actually pretty funny. Matt Wilson, one of our former operations guys, he actually just messaged me and just sent me a, like a little bit rem, a reminder of that day. And I, I never forget it, but it was a reminder of that day and how much it took for me to get here. A lot of hard work, a lot of effort, you know, a lot of sacrifice. But at the end of the day, I made myself uh, available for those sacrifices, and I'm very, very grateful for the position that I'm in now. We didn't just talk about Arkansas State today at Sunbelt Media Days. I had a chance to chat one on one with Sunbelt Commissioner Keith Gill. You can see that complete conversation on the K8 News app. Yeah, and that conversation with Gill, not the only thing you can find on the K8 News app. We have over an hour's worth of content. And of course, we'll have more coverage from New Orleans in the coming days. Plenty of scarlet and black sound to savor here from the Crescent City. He's Logan. I'm Chris Hudgeson. Thanks for watching a special edition of Red Wolves Live.